Today, we're talking about managing special access in quizzes. Now, there's two times we might wanna do this. We might wanna change the start, close, or due dates for a student. A student may not be available when the, the quiz was scheduled. We may also wish to change the time limit for quizzes. A student may, be, may require more time to complete the task. So there are two use cases we'll be running through today. We'll be looking at updating dates for a specific learner, and we'll be looking at updating time limits for a specific learner as well. So let's jump into it. So we do both of these tasks from the quizzes tool. So in the navbar, I will set quizzes. I will scroll down to the quiz I wish to update, and then I will select the Chevron and then select edit. We update access permissions from the availability dates and conditions panel. So in our options pane, we'll select availability, availability dates and conditions. Then we'll scroll down to the special access button. Here, we're able to add permissions, or sorry, special access to specific students. So on that, click on the add users to special access button. And here I'm going to update the dates for a student. So I'm gonna select the calendar for the due date and I'm gonna I'm give this student an extra week. I'm going to update the start date and, the, and I'm going to update the end date. The next task is to select the student. So I'm gonna scroll down this page until I get to the users section. And then I'm going to choose the learner who I want to give this special access to. And then I select save. And then here we can see that the student has had their due date and availability changed. I'm gonna confirm this by selecting save and close. And then I'm gonna select save and close to save the quiz. So if we scroll down to our quiz that we updated now, we'll notice there's a little key next to it. This indicates that special access has been granted on this quiz. So we've just done the first use case, which is updating the dates for a specific learner. Now let's look at how we might update time limits for a learner. We do the same process. We click on the relevant quiz, the Chevron, and then select edit. We go back to our availability dates and conditions. We find our manage special access button. And here we can see one user has special access already. And then we just select our add users to special access button again. This time we'll keep the due dates the same. All we want to do is give a learner additional timing. So what we want to do is scroll down to the timing section and we'll select the checkbox next to override time limit. Here we have three options. We can either select a new time limit for a student. We can multiply the current time limit based on a number, or we can grant special time. So based on the requirements of your student, you can either set a new time limit, give them extra time, or use the multiplier. In this case, my student needs twice as long to commit the to submit the test, so I'm gonna select two. This would be the same as, and automatically updates the other fields based on that um, information as well. Now I've gotta choose the student who I want to give this special access to. So I'll scroll down to the users section, and I will choose another user. So I'm gonna use learner number two. And then I'll select save, here we can see that we're adding different special access to different students. So student one, which we did in the first part, has a different availability dates and due dates, whereas student two has a new time limit, but their um, due dates and availability, availability, availability dates are the same as the um, original test. So I will confirm this by selecting save and close, and then I will, save these changes. I'll hit save and close again. 
And that's it. That's how we update special accessing quizzes. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later.